Hi everyone, welcome to Jiggy's Geek Speak. My name is Jiggy Cruz and welcome to my movie review of Spider-Man Homecoming. Now I got to see Spider-Man Homecoming last June 30 thanks to Sony Philippines and especially to Miss Bernie Cheng and Mr. Jay Gonzalez for inviting me and my brother. I got to be my brother's plus one thanks to, <laughs> thanks to you guys. Um, I am a big, big Spider-Man fan. I've loved Spider-Man since I was three years old. Uh, one Christmas, my grandmother gave me a Spider-Man action figure in a Spider-Man buggy car. And from that point on, I just love the webhead ever since. I super super love spider-man but entering the movie i was really putting my expectations on on the down low because spider-man 3 was a big letdown for me i it was so much hype spider-man 2 was my favorite what no it was my favorite marvel movie and it just got dethroned last saturday because of spider-man homecoming i am going to say it it is the best Marvel Cinematic Universe take of the 16 movies and also the best Spider-Man movie. Why? Um, maybe about 10 minutes into the film, I thought that I was actually reading a comic book and it felt like a comic book, a Spider-Man comic book. It had all the elements of a Spider-Man story and I thought that it was really, really well done. I was smiling from ear to ear for 95% of the time. My friends asked me what the 5% was. You just have to message me personally on what the 5% made me go, oh, okay. But Spider-Man Homecoming was well done. It's getting good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm really, really happy. I'm very excited to watch it again when it opens on July 6th. But no spoilers here. I really thought that it had a lot of heart. Um, Tom Holland's Peter, take on Peter Parker was amazing and spectacular. Um, with the ensemble or the cast, I think the supporting roles were also pretty, pretty well cast. Especially Michael Keaton's The Vulture. He's really scary. I thought that Come on, you gotta cast, as Philbert D said, you need to cast Michael Keaton in whatever you can because he just brings his A-game into this movie. So how many times am I going to watch Spider-Man Homecoming? Probably a lot. And I need to see it in IMAX. I need to see it in 3D. I need to see what the producers and the director John Watts did for, for IMAX. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was awesome in, in IMAX and I, I need to see Spider at least once but I do prefer watching in 2D in, in a Dol Dolby Atmos theater and guys for all those who are worried about Spider-Man Homecoming trust me coming from a long time Spidey fan uh, a guy who's been reading Amazing Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, all those Spider-Man titles you I promise you you will love this movie I'm sure of it. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. So that's a quick review, a non-spoilery review of Spider-Man Homecoming. And thanks for watching. This has been Jiggy Cruz. And if you haven't subscribed to Geek Speak yet, please do subscribe down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.